Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a zoom in hover effect for gallery images in your Squarespace 7.1 website. Now, I want to be super specific here. This tutorial is for gallery images. We're not talking about on page images or products or blog thumbnails. All of those have different code names in CSS, so I'm covering those in different tutorials. Now in this tutorial, we're talking about galleries and there are six main types of galleries and all of them can be edited individually. If you want a rundown of your basic gallery options, be sure to check out the tutorial where I walk you through them all. A link is in the description beneath this video. Now all the effects we're covering today are done with just a little bit of custom CSS magic and I'm going to walk you through this step by super simple step. The codes we're using are in the description beneath this video, so make sure you watch the whole tutorial so you understand how to use them and you know which type of gallery you're working with so you grab the right code. Alrighty, enough with the introduction. Let's hop into my demo site and see how this works. So here we are in my demo site and I'm going to scroll down on this page. I actually have all six types of gallery options here so we can see what happens when we use different code names to create the zoom in hover effect but all of these are going to be edited with custom CSS. So we need to navigate to design and then all the way down to custom CSS in our website here. So this very first gallery right here is just called a simple grid gallery. So the name for that in CSS is gallery grid item. But what we're going to be affecting are the individual images in that gallery. So I'm going to add the text IMG, which says, okay, this code is going to apply to just the images. Now we talked about making this a hover effect. So I'm also going to add the text hover after that IMG. So now the browser knows whatever we're about to say only happens when I hover over an individual image. Alrighty, now that that's there, let's open up the bracket. And what we're going to do to zoom in is to scale this image. So I'm going to say transform scale 1.2. So this is going to scale it by 120%. So now that we've added that, when I hover over the image, it zooms in, but the image becomes larger. It goes out of the frame and I don't want that. I want it to stay in the frame. So there's a little bit more code that we need to add. We need to add a semicolon and type in width 100%, height 100%, overflow hidden. And then I also need to make sure the browser knows that part's important. So I'm gonna add exclamation point important. You would think we're done, but we're still not done quite yet. It's still doing the same thing. There's one more piece we need to add. We need to make sure that the entire gallery knows that overflow is hidden. So I'm going to add the text again, gallery grid item, and I'm just gonna copy this piece right here where it says overflow hidden important, and I'm gonna apply that to the whole gallery. So now when we zoom in, they stay inside the frame. How cool is that? Now, as much as I love this effect, this is happening instantly when we scroll over those particular images. And I personally prefer the look of a slower transition. So what we can do is actually change the transition duration. So for this very first part where we're adding the hover effect, I'm going to add the text transition dash duration. And then let's say uh, two seconds. So two S means this is only going to last for two seconds. So now when I scroll over the image, it takes about two seconds to zoom it out to 120%. So we can also change the scale to something crazy if we want it to be like three times the size it was before. That's a mega zoom going on right there. Pretty awesome, right? So again, you can adjust the scale and you can also adjust the transition duration. We can also reverse this effect if you'd like to. By doing that, or to do that, we just remove the text hover right there. Now you'll see that they're all zoomed in. And then what we're going to do is say, okay, gallery grid item image on a hover, transform scale back to one. So now when I hover over it, oops, I spelled transform wrong. There we go, transform scale one. Now when I hover back over it, it's gonna zoom back out of that image. We're still gonna get that slow zoom because we left transition duration in there. So I'd also like to mention at this point, you'll notice none of my other galleries are affected. That's because the first part of this code, gallery grid item, is only affecting the grid type of gallery at the very top of the page here. So all of the code names for the different types of galleries are listed in the description below, but for the point of making an example here, I know this bottom one is called a reel. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to gallery reel item. 
You'll see they've already started to zoom in. How cool is that? I'll go ahead and change all of those. So now they all say gallery real. So now we're gonna get that effect for this real gallery. Anytime I hover over a single image, it'll zoom back out. So, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And if you wanna learn about more things you can do to customize your Squarespace website, head on over to insidethesquare.co. There I have a ton of free resources and video tutorials just like this one that you can use to make the best website ever. Thank you again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.